there, Marcus Begnett. Marcus, you must be delighted with that. Yeah, no, it was a really good response um, after last week and um, credit to the players. Um, it was a tough one today mentally because obviously confidence was not last week. Having, you know, started the game and played so well and then to come away um, with that scoreline. So obviously it's been a long week but it's made it worth it. It's certainly made it worth it and, and we've made it worth it certainly for the travelling fans. I'm sure they're going to have a lovely weekend now in Blackpool. I think that was a result that not many of them would have probably expected. Is that fair to say? Yeah, of course. If you if you look, I, I think what, they've lost two games since Christmas, if memory serves me right. Portsmouth, Luton. They're going for the playoffs. I think they're unbeaten in eight. So, you know, if you look at the stats, it's quite frightening. Um, so to come here against a team, um, no doubt the remit is to go up um, and put in that performance and get that result. Um, it's encouraging um, for the future. Only one change in personnel today, but there was quite a change in the way he set up. Um, yeah, I mean, that'd be credit to um, Donny last week. Um, but, you know, we still we still had four, you know, we still had four midfielders. We still had two up top against Donny, four at the back, and we had the same again today. Um, but Donny posed you different problems than Blackpool. Um, and I just felt, honestly, I felt we passed the ball better last week, if I'm being honest. If there was one negative today, it's probably we could have passed the ball better. But I understand it and I get it um, in terms of where the players are mentally and confidence-wise. So I understand that. So I thought we, we played better um, last week. Um, Donny got the goals at critical times, important times, and so did we. I mean, we scored all four goals today. And again, credit to the players. We got ourselves ahead mirrored of last week and then we scored an own goal and, and confidence could have dropped and uh, I've just got to say uh, for Andrew Boyce to go up the other end and have a major influence um, on the set piece for us to get us in at half time is absolutely credit so really pleased. He said mirrored it and it could have mirrored it the fact they'd gone 2-1 up rather than you going 2-1 up so that was a crucial bit of the game. Yeah of course um, you know but like I said, I think we scored. We scored at important times. Um, we were resilient. Um, we frustrated Blackpool. Like I said, I would have liked us to have been better on the football, better on the ball, move it better like we did last week. But I understand it and get it. Um, obviously, coming off the back of that. But it gives us a super start because we want to end the season with some momentum, which to go into next season. So all the hard work, the lessons we've learned um, in this season, Hopefully it goes in uh, and we'll be better for it and stronger for it next season. A very good team performance all around, but how good is Sam Jones? He seems to be getting better every week. Yeah, well, I told you he was like that. I, I think that's it. No, it was no secret. He was my number one. Um, along with Jamie, they just give you something different. You know, Chris Clements, come, you know, I, I just felt we needed to improve it technically. And I think we have with those type of players. Um, so... You know, for us it's onwards and upwards. You know, it's a difficult period now we've got. I mean, we had the trip ups today. Now we've got a Friday Monday game, so um, we've got to make sure we're right. What I want to do, I want to put the wrongs right from last week for our home fans. Delighted for the away fans to make them happy. Obviously, um, I upset um, supporters at home, and I get that, and I respect that, and I'll learn from it. Um, so hopefully, we, you know, Friday we can give them we can give them another result so they can go home happily. And I'm presuming you want at least the top half finish now? Oh, we want to... Listen, for us, I think, when, you know, when we come in, it was only 15 games played, and if you break it up into five games, five blocks of games, you know, the team was averaging seven points, so we would have ended up on 62 points if it would have continued the start it had. We're averaging six and a half points, and having lost the players we've lost, to only be half a point off of, you know, is, like I said, is a great, um, a great compliment to them. Um, and like I said, yes, we want to finish the season strongly to have that momentum to go into next season.